All right, everybody, we are back. You're my next guest as the uh, hot-headed Ralphie, whose head was cut off and stuffed into a bowling bag <laughs> last year on The Sopranos, and I'm laughing about it. He's currently starring in Frankie and Johnny in the Claire de Lune on Broadway. He soon will be seen with Ben Affleck in Daredevil. Please welcome Joe Pantoliano. <laughs> All right, sir, we got a lot to talk about. Last time you were on the show, it's before uh, the big episode of The Sopranos, and uh, you offered to bet me $10,000 that your character would be alive at the end of the year. That's right. And I didn't take it. You chickened out. I chickened out because I knew that you knew what happened. So you don't bet with somebody if they know what the outcome is. Also, I happen to know that you were a bookie's assistant once in your life. My mother being the bookie. That's right. You're, you were, true story, yeah. your mom was a bookie. Is that right? Yeah, she ran, she ran numbers. She was a part-time bookie, summertime bookie. It was her summertime job so we could go down the shore. <laughs> so a lot of moms maybe take on a little extra work in the summer. Your mom became a bookie. She was a bookie. And, and you helped her. How did you help her? I used to take the, I used to take the collections, uh, the, the uh, money and the receipts, and then I'd go down by the swimming pool there was a bakery and he was the drop guy and I would give him the money and he would give me a crella you know I pick a crella and that was my pay I'd give a crella a day kept the doctor away so your take in this whole thing was some fried dough yeah, yeah dough <laughs> which is what they call money right right so it all comes together <laughs> it in the all end. comes together in the end I have to say it's are you getting a lot of strange reactions all of America saw your head cut off and then held up and then placed into a, uh, a, a bowling ball bag. It, became a, it really became a moment. It's like, you know, Tiny Tim getting, getting married on the Carson show. Right. You know, it's like right. television history. Who would have thunk it? Right. Was it weird for you to see your head held around like that? I mean, that's got to be very Well, you disturbing. know, like when you walk on the stage, there were three of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now there's two of them. Yeah. Did you take one? I, uh, I, I, have, I have one in uh, hiding. So you stole it from the set. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the problem with doing Frankie and Johnny is, is after the play, you know, I, I'm naked in it, so I, got not, I can't steal any clothes. <laughs> okay. You like to take things is what you're saying. Frankie and Johnny, uh, you're getting, first of all, great reviews. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats. In fact, thank you. And I mean, really, over the top, over nice the top, reviews. They're actually saying that I'm probably going to get nominated for an Academy Award. Which would be a first for a Broadway play. That would be really... <laughs> That'd be very nice. I don't. You can't. Get, no, I don't think so. I don't think actually. I think didn't Stanley Tucci? I don't think you can get anything. You can't even get a Tony because Tucci started the role. So, but you have that severed head that you can carry around. Then what the hell am I doing the play for? <laughs> no, because you enjoy the live theater. That's what all celebrities say. My first love, the theater. <laughs> and I get to see Rosie Perez naked eight times a week. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. I'll see. Now you've got the crowd. She's wonderful. In it. Now, you talk, you're you naked in this play. Mm -hmm. That's got to be very strange to, to go to work. Not and when you got nine inches. Plastic. All right, no one needs to hear that. <laughs> Every oh, once in a while. Oh, what the hell was that? I, I... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's here a classy show we're running. I'm wearing a little American flag stick pin, and then you bring that out. Well, you didn't bring it out, but the point is... The point is... I go low when I need to go low. That's what I do. So, oh, now I've made you happy. But you're taking your clothes off. I can't imagine taking my clothes off for a living. That's got to be very strange. What's the reaction been from people that know you? Oh, it's been, you know, it's, it's a nice, it's a subtle moment. In fact, my daughter, my 17-year-old, saw it last night, and I said, you know, the lighting is very nice. Don't be afraid. You're not going to see anything. She goes, Dad, I see you during the day. I don't see anything. Right. So. <laughs> That's because you like to walk around the house naked, obviously. Uh... <laughs> But did you have any friends of yours that were, like, worried for you? Like, I'm not sure this is the right thing to do. I don't know if you should be taking your clothes off. Or were people pretty accepting? People were pretty accepting. People were very accepting and, 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 and a little embarrassed for me. Okay. You know, because... I get that a lot, too. Uh, you couldn't... They, they couldn't fit your whole name on the marquee. Because everyone's dream when they do... That's one of these Broadway lie. shows It is... was $800 more. What? It was eight, for those five extra letters, it would have cost $800. So they went from J Panaliano to Joey Pants, and they saved $800. Why not just Joey P? Joey then, P. Or just or J. 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 <laughs> and people think J-Lo or something is appearing there. Yeah, JP, and they'll all show up. Uh, so really, they were just trying to save money by yeah, doing that on the marquee? Yeah, so they came up with the idea, with, your name is too long, 
but I know the truth. Right. It looks nice. It looks nice. You like? You don't mind Joey Pants? No, that's what everybody calls me. Every anyway, it says Joey Pants on the marquee and lights, and then on the on the on the billboard it says Joe Pantoliano. Okay. So it's like a double a double whammy. I liked it. Okay. I don't want to make you self conscious about it. Do you a lot of nicknames? Do you have a lot of nicknames in your in your yeah, neighborhood growing oh, yeah. up? Yeah. My you know my well, your nickname was always Joey Pants. Joey Pants. So uh, uh, then my, my my uncle Frankie uh, Frankie Hook the mayor. We called him Mayor because he always wore a tie. My father was Monk, Anna Monk, Rosie Chit, Mickey the Crabs, Skelly. Mickey the Crabs? Yeah, for, for the obvious reasons. And, uh... <clears throat> he walked sideways? <laughs> You're good. I'm trying to class this thing up. You're good. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> really, so everyone had a nickname. What would my nickname be in the old neighborhood? Shorty. <laughs> Shorty, because yeah. it's always the opposite. opposite. Or dumb guy, because I'm so smart. Or uh, ugly, because I'm so good looking. <laughs> or ladies don't love him, because ladies do love me. Okay, stop that. That's getting, it's getting patronizing. Um, now, you're, you obviously love playing a bad guy. Yes. You're great at it. Yes. Just, you, and you can tell, like in The Sopranos, you could tell that you just relished yes. playing that guy. It's a great, uh, great... It's a great thing. What happens... How do you feel, like, in this movie, Daredevil... Well, I'm playing the good guy. You're playing a good guy and you're playing a reporter. Is it, is it not boring. as... Boring! It's boring? <laughs> ben Affleck and Colin Farrell and, 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 and Michael Clark Duncan and, 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 and um, 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 Jennifer Garner have the greatest parts because... The, the, it's the villains and the heroes, and they have these wonderful kung fu, f I mean, extraordinary moments. And then I'm the reporter. I show up and I go, so what happened? You know? <laughs> right. And then, the, and, the, and, and, and then you're like, okay, I better go now and file this story. And yeah. you leave, and then another amazing kung yeah, and then fu I, fight and then breaks out. That's exactly right. So you would love it if you just played villains the whole rest of your life. Or, right? or, or you know, being in peril. I think when we do Daredevil 2, that they're going to get me. Because I now, you know, in the story, I, I, I know daredevil's uh, a true identity mm -hmm. and so maybe in the seek in the second one they'll get me and beat me up and you know throw me out of a building or something that sounds terrible why do you want that to happen well because it'll be fun and then you know then then daredevil can ben can save me at the moment before i hit the the pavement right are you writing these scripts now is that what's happening <laughs> Are you coming? Are you coming up to them like, okay, I got a great idea, all my, right? I come walking. My in. daughter Daniela's got. She's ten years old. She's got an idea for the fourth Matrix. It's called Matrix Four: Cipher Returns. Very nice. Yeah. So they're looking out for you. Yeah, they That's are. That's very cool. She wants a new pair of I shoes. I met them. I, yeah. <laughs> she just wants to get some sweet cash coming. Uh, I met your kids backstage. Yeah, yeah. And you were and you were like, hey, look, kids, they're so young. It was so funny. You said, look, kids, it's Conan O'Brien from Late Night. And these kids look at me, and I'm like, I'm on a 1230 at night. I'm not like, I don't entertain at children's parties. <laughs> oh, look, he's on after Leno. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Uh, Frankie and Johnny and the Clara Loon is now playing on Broadway. Yeah, we're about uh, three and a half inches south of here. What the hell was that? <laughs> three and a half clicks. And Daredevil opens on February 14th. So go check that out. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Joe Petaliano. We'll be right back with Neil Finn. Stick around. That was good.